हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द वर्चुअल क्लासरूम ऑफ द क्वेस्ट टुडे आई एम बैक विथ सम अदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ एस एस पी फिजिक्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एज पर योर रिक्वेस्ट इन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी फोर हुई ऑफ दीज स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट फॉर बीटा प्लस डी के एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन कैप्चर प्रोसेस हायर द क्यू वैल्यू द हायर इज द ट्रांजिशन रेट This is always true. The energy available for beta decay is always higher than that for electron capture. This may not be true. Electron capture is always possible whenever beta plus is allowed. This is true. Neutrino does not come out in C electron capture process. See, electron in in beta decay process or electron capture process, the momentum. and angular momentum and energy is not conserved therefore the neutrino hypothesis came into existence so it is not possible that the neutrino does not come out in c process in this process so <coughs> answer is a a which contains both 1 and 3 Now in question number eighty-five, which of the properties of a neutrino and antineutrino are correct? Neutrino is a particle with spin half, and antineutrino is of spin minus half. No, this is incorrect. Both of them have spin half. This is correct. Neutrino is left-handed particle, but antineutrino is right-handed. so um the left handedness or right handedness is, is decided uh, depending upon its helicity so this is correct both of them are uh, left handed particles no this is incorrect so option number 2 and 3 2 and 3 option c now in question number 86 if the up quark is denoted by u down quark is denoted by d then the quark structure of a proton is denoted by so we know for proton and its neutron up and down quark are required three of them are required and as we know down quark is slightly heavier than the up quark so this option option number b is correct for uh, configuration for proton now in equation question number 87 frictional force is an example of which interaction gravitational interaction strong nuclear interaction weak nuclear interaction electromagnetic interaction actually gravitational interaction Mm, account for the force of attraction between the massive bodies and the nuclear interaction account for the nuclear forces nuclear uh, attraction of um, nuclear particles uh, whereas this electromagnetic interaction is responsible for frictional force okay friends hope this video will be helpful for you i'll be back with some other questions of this exam So till then stay tuned